Wasteland Weapon of Six, Episode 15, The Mauser C96 Broom Handle. The Mauser Broom Handle was first introduced in the Fallout universe with the very first Fallout game, and reappears in Fallout 2, Fallout Tactics, and Fallout 3. The C96 also exists in Fallout New Vegas as an unobtainable easter egg. A little real world history on the Mauser C96. The C96 is a very old weapon, dating from the 1890s, during the start of the Smokeless Powder Age. Before the advent of Smokeless Powder, semi-auto firearms were near impossible due to the fouling problems caused by the much older black powder. During the 1890s, many designs were made, but most of them were either extremely awkward to use or way too complicated to produce. Other successful designs from the 1890s include the Bergman 1896 and the Webley Fosbury. However, it should be said the Webley Fosbury was more of an auto cocking revolver than a true auto loading pistol. The operating system of the C96 is short recoil and is fed with stripper clips, much like the rifles of the time. Later versions would have detachable magazines. The C96 was originally chambered in the 7.63 by 25 Mauser round, with Newer generations being chambered in several other calibers like 45 ACP and 9mm. In fact, the early 9mm ones were known as Red 9s because of the large red colored 9 carved into the pistol grip to let soldiers know that this version is chambered in 9mm and not the 7.63 round. The primary 45 ACP versions were made in China by an arsenal constructed by the Chinese warlord Yan Zishan for his soldiers, as they primarily used a, a 45 ACP Thompson-style gun, but their sidearms were 7.63 chambered Mauser broom handles. So his solution was to just produce the Zhangxi Type 17, a Mauser broom handle clone chambered in 45 ACP. One of the defining features of the Mauser broom handle is the ability to attach a shoulder stock that also functions as a holster. Pistols with detachable shoulder stocks were popular in the 1800s and early 1900s. These were especially popular in China. In early 1900s China, it was extremely difficult to own a rifle, however it was much easier to own a pistol. So stocked pistols were very appealing to the people of the region. They were heavily used during the Chinese Civil War. During the lifetime of the Ma of the room handle, there were many copies made. Most of the copies came from Spain and China during the middle of the 1900s. Reproductions were also made in the 1980s and early 1990s by an American company called Federal Ordnance. Well, that's enough for the history lesson, now let's get into the Fallout universe. C-96, in terms of the Fallout universe, is a weird one because while it appears in five of the eight games, it only has a prominent role in Fallout 3. For example, in Fallout 1, there is a single C-96 in the game. The casino owner, Gizmo, who is located in Junktown, is the only place where you can find the C-96. In fact, in the files, it's even known as Gizgun, and was originally called Gizmo's Gun in the demo of the game. For Fallout 2, it's not much better. One is located in New Reno at New Reno Arms. The other location is with Willie and his guards. Willie is a rare encounter trader in the game. So again, while more prevalent than Fallout 1, the broom handle is still a rare weapon when it comes to the wasteland. Sticking with the west coast, we go to New Vegas to find a single broom handle in the game at Mick and Ralph's. The pistol is located in the hidden back room with some other easter egg guns like the railway rifle and the infiltrator I-91. This is a Chinese version of the broom handle Mauser, and we'll go over this version in a little bit. So we can safely say that the broom handle is not a popular weapon in the western portion of the United States wasteland, as it's only carried by a select few individuals. This doesn't change when we move to the Midwest wasteland, as again we barely find any real use of it. The only users of the C-96 in the area are a couple members of Horace's Raider Gang, located in Brahminwood. However, we now move to the Capital Wasteland. This is the most prominent place the C-96 is found. This is not exactly a Mauser C-96. We know in real life that China had a certain affinity for the gun. This version we find all over the Capital Wasteland is called the Type 17 Zianxi, just like the real world version. 
However, this version is chambered in the 10mm round instead of 45 ACP. The reason it's chambered in 10mm could be that since there was a factory set up by the Chinese nationalists, when the communists took over, they kept the design in production and later rechambered them in 10mm. Another possibility is that these were made by the Chinese state-owned Norinco company for a sale to the US and Canadian market. In real life, the Norinco factory produces all types of oddities for sale to the US and Canada before they were banned. Like an M14 chambered in 7.62x39 that takes AK mags, a Tokarev TT33 pistol clone in 9mm, and a Dragunov chambered in 308 Winchester. All types of oddities. There also exist several companies in the Fallout universe that are fronts for the Chinese Communist Party. The most well known is Mama Dolce's, but a lesser known one is L LOB Enterprises. They're important as they develop military prototypes. This fake company could be manufacturing these Chinese pistols in the US so Chinese forces that are operating in the United States could easily get firearms. As we know that in Appalachia, the communist forces stationed there were not able to get shipments of Chinese assault rifles. We know that the Type 17 was used as the primary sidearm of, of the Chinese military. They are seen being used during the Operation Anchorage simulation by the Crimson Dragon units. Getting a little ahead of ourselves, we see the Chinese remnants inside of Mama Dolce is equipped with them as well. This is strange as you would think that a military force that is able to develop advanced stealth suits wouldn't be using a design from the 1890s, and that they would have switched to a more modern pistol. Why the DC Wasteland is the only location to see the use of the Type 17 is unknown. We do have the single one at Mick and Ralph's in New Vegas, and we do know that the Chinese did have a small presence in the area, as we find both the Chinese stealth suits in Hoover Dam, as well as the Red Victory grenade rifle. Maybe the one at Mick and Ralph's did belong to the Crimson Dragon units in the area. Now for the unique versions. There exists a single unique one, and it involves the LOB Enterprises. This is a Zhu Rong V418 Chinese pistol. This is a prototype pistol that was slated to go into some type of production before the war. It's a very unique pistol, as it fires a strange flaming material that not only sets the target on fire, but has a chance to cause their bodies to explode. How it does this is described in a terminal, along with several other prototypes that the company was working on. Prototype refines acumous barrel experiments by the addition of retardant jacketing, as well as internal heat diffusers. Rate of fire diminished from unmodified versions of weapon. Conventional 10mm ammunition does not fully liquefy until impact, giving 418 exceptional accuracy compared to earlier prototypes. Live fire tests report no major casualties. Recommend ZRIN418 as production candidate. So whatever this Acumus barrel experiment is, somehow modifies standard 10mm rounds fired through the weapon to superheat into an almost liquid form. However, they stay together until impact. The strategy guide also mentions that this weapon can easily be used to clear gas-filled rooms. Maybe that was its intended use, a concealable weapon that is able to destroy fuel supplies in some capacity. That is it for this video on the Mauser broom handle. Whether Bethesda will bring it back or not is a mystery, as we have two fallouts made by them that feature a Chinese presence in some capacity, yet the weapon has not returned, nor is it even mentioned. As always, subscribe to this channel as well as my main channel, Trooper Fofo, for all weapons, showcases, and just general gaming stuff.